Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I've actually got a few things to show you today because I went to Tesco yesterday and I bought something for my house that I absolutely love and I've got a couple of favourites. I think I've got like four things that I want to show you. It didn't warrant full favourites video so I thought I would just put it in a vlog. Let me show you the things that I bought yesterday. Okay so first up I got this vase and I'm actually going to be doing a bedroom makeover very soon I feel like. The guy who's painting it is coming. He said in the autumn time I don't really know like the actual time scale of that but yeah a bedroom makeover will be coming and it's going to be quite mid-century modern vibes I'll put on screen the vibe that I'm going for and I just felt like this glass vase would look really really nice on my fireplace so this was from Tesco I think it was 10 pounds and it's kind of a weird color but it goes really well with the type of wood that's in that room so yeah it's also a really good place to balance the camera <laughs> I feel like this looks really good I never film at this angle but some more things that I got from Tesco, they were in their club card price, which just means that they were a bit cheaper. So when I take pictures of my notepads for my business, I always like to put a pen next to it. And the pen that I'd got, it was like a gold pen, but all the gold was coming off and it just wasn't looking nice anymore. And I've been really struggling to find just like a plain gold pen. And then I saw these in Tesco. So I think all of these pens were literally like 75p for the whole thing. It was either 75 or £1.75. And it comes with like a dark silver, a light silver, gold and a rose gold. And these are absolutely perfect because I never want too fussy of a pen in the picture. It just looks better if they're plain. And these are so plain. These are exactly what I've been looking for. So I got that packet. But then I also wanted some more colourful ones for spring and summer or if I've got more colourful products. And these were on the Club Card Tesco thing. They're just paper mate pens and they're in all different pastel colours. And I thought these would be perfect for the more colourful products. So yeah, that is what I got at Tesco along with food. <laughs> but I didn't actually film the food haul. Please let me know if you would like me to carry on filming food hauls because I feel like in my last three videos I filmed a food haul in every one and I don't know if they're a bit boring. I'm just going to set you up on my tripod and show you a couple of favourites. Can we just appreciate how long my hair has got? It's mental. I went into lockdown in obviously like March last year and I just cut my hair super short, probably about there. And it's grown so much and I actually just booked in to have it dyed, which I'm so excited about. It's on, I think the 30th of August or the 31st is quite soon and this is what I'm aiming for I'm just putting it out into the universe I'm manifesting that this hair happens for me because I tried to do it last year and it didn't quite go to plan but yeah that is what I want so we will see but anyways I've got a couple of favorites here the first thing is a hair mask and this is from Garnier so this is their smoothing hair food coconut and macadamia mask it says it's vegan and it's got no silicones. But I just put this on every time I have a shower. I put my conditioner on normally from like here to here. And then there downwards, I put this hair mask on and I just leave it on for like three to five minutes along with my conditioner on this bit. And it's made my hair so soft. As you can see, my hair's got shine to it. This hair has not been dyed in a year. And before it had a brown semi-permanent box dye on it it was bleached i think three times underneath that so you can kind of see from like there downwards where my hair was bleached but yeah it's still miraculously got some shine to it and i think part of that is down to this it just makes my hair so soft my next favorite is actually today's sponsor of the video i'm sure you've heard me talk about them before but they are a firm favorite they're a website that i use every single month without fail and that is skillshare if you haven't heard me talk about skillshare before or you just want a quick recap it's an online learning community full of thousands of different classes so you can basically go on Skillshare say you want to learn how to cook specifically Italian food I'm sure there will be a class teaching you the basics of Italian food and how to cook it that's something that I've never searched before but seriously I bet it's there you can explore new skills or just develop skills that you've got already I've used Skillshare to develop my skills in Procreate which is the app that I use for drawing my illustrations for my business and it's helped me so much because obviously if you get a new program you're not going to know like the basics of that program or how to use it and that's where 
I return to Skillshare. There's no ads on the videos, making them really quick and easy to watch. And the videos are usually in bite-sized portions as well, so if you've only got five minutes to spare in a day, there'll be a five minute video that you can watch and you can still be developing your skills. So the class that I took this month was interior design at Decorate Like a Boss. This class just goes into the basics of interior design, how to make a room look good, how to plan out a room. And it was really helpful actually, because as I said earlier in this video, I am gonna be doing my bedroom soon and it's just helped me develop a really clear vision for that room. I'm gonna pop my vision board on screen right now again so you can see, but I just really love how everything is looking and if you guys need some tips when it comes to interior decorating definitely check out this class it was really helpful. Skillshare are constantly launching new premium classes so there's always something new to learn and if you want to try out Skillshare for yourself the first a thousand people to click the link in the down bar will get a free one month trial of Skillshare premium membership you can learn so many things within that month so definitely give it a go get your free trial linked in the bio right now and find some classes that suit you. A huge thank you to Skillshare for their continued support with this channel. It means the world. It's a service that I genuinely love and back 100%, so a big thank you. So the next thing that I've been loving this month is this Faith in Nature Dragon Fruit Body Wash. I have super sensitive skin, especially right now. I don't know what it is, but it's just reacting to everything. I find it difficult to find shower gels and stuff that I don't react to, but this is a really great one. This is vegan and cruelty free, made in the UK, and it is kind of expensive, but you can sometimes find it on a deal, like two for a certain amount of money. My favorite scent is the dragon fruit or the coconut one. I really like those, and it just doesn't set off my sensitive skin, so if you guys struggle with that definitely give this one a go okay on to a household product method is my favorite 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 cleaner i don't think i've used a different cleaner for probably like five years i love method and they have the nicest scents and i think this one is new or at least i've never seen it before so this is the peach blossom scent it smells literally like those peach ring sweets. It's so nice. And this is my new favorite scent of Method. So if you haven't tried this one, definitely give it a go. Okay, so on to a couple of TV programs. This is what I wanted to talk about the most. If you didn't know, I have recently just had two surgeries, one in May and one in August. I might talk about this in a future video, but I just really don't feel like talking about it today. I'm having a happy day. <laughs> I don't want to chat about it. So while I was recovering from the operations, I watched a few TV shows, specifically this past surgery in July. I ended up watching Outer Banks and I had to watch it from the start because I think it was season three that came out and I just could not remember what happened in the previous season. So I literally went back to season one and watched it again. And it is a firm favorite TV show of mine now, which I really didn't expect. When I first watched the first season, I don't think I enjoyed it that much, but now that it's gone on, it just gets better and better. It's basically about these teenagers who live in the Outer Banks and they're searching for this treasure that somebody has left behind, which sounds really lame, but it's actually really good. It's a really great concept for a show. It's like a treasure hunt, but in this day and age, and you get to see like their relationships and family problems and stuff like that. And it's just it's a really good watch. If you haven't given Outer Banks a go, definitely do because I've really, really enjoyed it. And I think it's set for a fourth season, which is great. So another show that I've rewatched from season one is Atypical. The final season of Atypical came out. And again, I just could not remember what happened in the previous seasons. So I've gone back to season one. I still haven't watched the latest season because I think I'm on like season three now and it's season four that came out. But yeah, Atypical is about an autumn autistic boy who's finding his way through life but it's really interesting to see how he thinks and how he acts and I just love his character so much. He's so honest and to the point and I just love it but it's also about his family, his sister, his parents. They all have storylines of their own as well. It's not just about Sam. If you want a really wholesome watch that's funny in parts definitely give Atypical a go if you haven't already. It's honestly one of my top favorite shows. So yeah, that is it for my favorites. I told you there wasn't that many things to talk about today, but now I'm just gonna carry on vlogging my day, I think. So 
let's go. Actually, before I carry on this vlog, I did want to mention I have got a new YouTube channel. I've literally only mentioned it right at the very end of my previous video and I don't know how many people make it to the end of videos so I thought I would just mention it here. My studio vlogs will no longer be on this channel. I've made a new channel for them and I'm going to be doing studio vlogs, day in the life videos of running a business. I'm going to do a Q&A of what it's like to run a small business. I really would like to do some small business hauls as well from other businesses that I love. I want to take you in depth of what it's like to design the products and just everything surrounding Juniper Moon. So if you would like to subscribe to that channel, I know so many of you like my studio vlogs and I don't want you to miss them because they won't be on here anymore. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to that channel and I'll see you over there very soon. I'm hoping to post my first video on the 1st of September. So that is quite soon. Okay, let's go. So today mum's gonna help me with prepping new stock for Halloween. Halloween is coming very very soon and we've got a launch on the 1st of October so we really need to prep products and we've we've been doing it for the past week if you can hear a trumpet there's a little family who, who are having a garage sale outside and a little girl is playing a trumpet and it's cute but yeah mom's gonna prep all of the a6 ones which is this size i'm not gonna go into depth of what they are you can see that on the other channel and i'm gonna prep the a5 size which are the slightly bigger ones i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that today though because i've got a lot of other stuff to do like tidy this office this office is stressful mom's lined up her her favorites so these are not from the last week but we've got the bottles safe to show you so these are her favorite wines she really likes a rosé what kind of a rosé a dry rosé i don't drink alcohol except for baileys i love baileys this one is the yeelands sauvignon blanc blush she liked that. She also likes the Silver Mogi blush. She also likes the Kylie Minogue blush. Yeah, which is your favorite of the three? The middle one. The middle one is her favorite of the three. And she also likes this granola from Pret. Dark chocolate and almond granola. And those are mom's favorites, okay? So before I start tidying my office, I'm gonna have some lunch. And I'm having this chicken, bacon and sweet corn pasta salad. I used to really, really like this, so I saw it yesterday and I just thought, yeah, I will pick one of those up. I'm just doing a bit of shopping for my bedroom. I don't really want to show work today because that is for the other channel. So I thought I would show you what I'm going to get for my bedroom. The first thing I'm getting is this OK print from Habitat. I've wanted this for actual years. Every single time I go into the Habitat in Brighton, they have it on the wall and it looks incredible. So I'm going to get this. It's going to go above my fireplace in my bedroom. And then I'm also getting this set of cereal bowls. I already have two pink ones and they don't sell them separately anymore. They only sell them as a set. So it looks like I'm gonna get these four cereal bowls in gray. I actually really like this color though and it'll look nice with the pink interspersed. So I'm getting those. I'm umming and ahhing about getting this plant pot for my bedroom. It would look incredible. It does say it's not available for delivery to my address. So let me know if you think I should get this plant pot or not because I can't actually buy it today whether I want it or not. But I do think it'd look really nice with a Chinese money plant in like a full grown one. You guys, I'm so excited. I completely forgot that Ikea was coming today. I've ordered some shelves for this wall. Okay, so right now it looks like this. I needed somewhere to put my internet and my virgin box so we just put this cabinet there for now and then i've got this chair which is going to go in my bedroom but i remember i asked in a vlog a bit of a while ago what i should do with this corner and i feel like all of you agreed with me that i should hang some shelves up so i'm gonna have two shelves one there one there and i'll be able to put my tv things on and then in this corner I'm just gonna have a chair and a plant and I feel like it'll look really nice. So the shelves have officially arrived. I'm not allowed to lift anything yet. My surgeon says that it's gonna take a long time to heal everything that he's done because I had a lot going on inside and he's done a lot. It was a really, really long operation, like way longer than he ever expected. So I'm not allowed to lift a thing. So mom has just gone down for the shelves. I'm excited though. Let me give you a sneak peek of one of the new notepads. This is gonna be coming 
In Time for Christmas is so cute. It follows on from the Juniper print, which is my best-selling print. I'm so excited. So mum's just taking them out of the packaging. It looks like my mum's just doing all the work, but that is not the case. I'm just not filming it for this channel, as I keep saying. So this channel is just going to be vlogs that don't involve anything to do with the shop. I'll have to find other things to do. I just paused to film a little video for the other channel. I've just filmed a little introduction and it's made me really, really excited. <laughs> for that channel I can't wait it's just gonna be such a fun place but I am back and I want to show you everything that I bought from Ikea I don't know why but in my head I thought I just bought shelves but I didn't I bought some other stuff too so let's build it and show you these are the shelves that I got and they're looking quite yellow on this camera they're really not they're just an oak shade and they go really well with my coffee table right here sorry it's such a mess and these are the shelves that are gonna go right there I hope they fit. I hope I measured properly. I think I did. I also bought a footstool, which I'm going to build in a second. And I got a medium-sized IKEA bag. I have so many of the large ones, but when I saw this size, I thought it would be perfect for going food shopping. And then I thought I took this out of my basket. I honestly cannot remember keeping this in my basket. You know, I showed you earlier the gold plant pot. And I was like, do I buy this? Do I not? I was only showing you that because I thought I forgot to pick this up from Ikea, but I didn't. I bought it. So I'm not going to buy the gold one now because I've got this plant pot. This is what I wanted. So this is going to be for my bedroom makeover. But let's build this little footstool. Now, once the search was concluded, she did not leave her property willingly. And when you think about those three things in terms of like, if there's two separate locations, one of them is directly beside the Walmart in Warsaw, which we are by something, and wasn't. It kind of tells you that these individuals did not feel safe and wanted someone to... So this is a footstool that I got. I thought it was really cute. I can just keep a blanket inside it. It's a few hours later now, and I'm actually just going to take my makeup off and wind down for the night. I've got to edit this video today, so I'm going to sit down and do that. But yeah, I'm going to take this face off because makeup just bothers me after a while and it's the first time I've worn it in months. I can feel it, you know, I want to get it off my face. So yeah, let's do that. Hello, I am back. I've just been editing this video and I've realized how shaky it is with my camera. I actually dropped my camera a couple of weeks ago and I didn't think that it had done anything, but now I'm kind of thinking that my camera's shaky again, which is frustrating because I recently replaced my old camera because it did the same thing after I dropped it and then I dropped this one. And now I think it's doing the same thing. Either that or I've just got a really shaky hand. I don't know. I'm gonna really pay attention to that in my next video and see if it's just the fact that I've got a shaky hand or if it needs to go and see somebody. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a chance to hang the shelves today. I think that is gonna be a job for the next vlog. So you will see that in the next vlog, but I'm just gonna finish this vlog here. I'm actually gonna leave you with some footage of the sea. We went the other day and it was kind of stormy. It wasn't stormy weather, but the sea was stormy. So I'm gonna insert that footage because it was so nice. But I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Don't forget to get your free one month trial of Skillshare Premium. Is that Nelly? Hello. Hello, sir. As I was saying, don't forget to get your free one month trial of Skillshare Premium linked in the down bar. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel and I will see you soon. Bye!